Jack Rawson, a seventh grader at Toronto Middle School, is his family's Christmas miracle after surviving a severe case of diabetic ketoacidosis last year. And on our way to Children's, I said, how high was his sugar? I think like a, like a, I don't know, I, I couldn't comprehend what was really going on. And he said 1277. And I said, is that high? And he said, it's the highest I've ever had to take. Jack's mom, Nicole, says after his diagnosis with type 1 diabetes, Jack began his journey with the disease. But a big part of that journey was still missing. His diabetic alert dog, Brawny. And I started to research it, and he started to research it. And it wasn't long after we seen like what they did for other people that we were like, okay, they, we're, we're going to do this. Nicole heard of diabetic okay. alert dogs through a family in Wintersville who had one for their daughter. Brawny was adopted from Nebraska in a program called Hounds to Heroes, which trains shelter dogs for service. He is extensively trained to pick up scents from Jack's saliva and determine whether his blood sugar is too high or too low. Say he's busy doing work or he's not real sure that Brawny was really alerting to him, Brawny will make it known. He'll, he'll bark. Jack tells me Brawny even watches him when he plays sports. He can usually sense it from 20 feet away, so if he's like sitting by like the dugout, he can sense it all the way out in like a third base. Brawny's schedule is strict. He does scent drills and other training every day to make sure he stays sharp. He spends all day in Toronto Middle School and sits right That's under Jack's desk. Brawny brings peace of mind to Jack who once couldn't sleep at night, afraid he wouldn't wake up. And that's what I want. I want him to be able to sleep. I want him to be able to rest. I want him to feel comfortable. I want him to, I want him to, you know, have trust in Brawny. And Brawny is a hero and is named after Jack's favorite hero on the basketball court, LeBron. Even though Brawny is an amazing service dog, he is a friend too. On the way home, it hit him like, how amazing Brian was, and just to see the connection is crazy. Well, he's, he's like a savior and a friend at the same time, because he's always there. Tessa DeTiro for CBS News, Toronto, Ohio.